All right. Good morning, everybody. Here it is. It's a uh, judgment day, so to speak. I'm uh, up pretty early, getting ready to go down to the uh, patron, the courthouse, to try to figure out if I can fight this property management eviction they've got going against me right now. Long story short, um, we uh, had, I'm on a fixed, pretty fixed budget. My wife's on disability. I work from home helping out, uh, you know, at home while she's on disabled. I have the dogs and uh, so we're pretty fixed as far as income goes. Well, this summer, for whatever reason, in this place, the power bill was astronomical, like over $400 for a month. And I work from home, so I gotta have power. Otherwise, I can't make, you know, bills to pay, to make rent and whatnot. You know, now it goes. So, uh, being on a super fixed income, you short one thing to make, I wanna, you know, make another payment on something else. And, uh, happen to be the rent because that's the other big payment um that's the only other bill i have actually so um anyway uh i went to the power company i had them come out and do a consumption audit on the house and they have checked everything and everything is normal on the inside um with the exception of the uh, AC unit, which is back here. You're not going to be able to see it because it's too dark, but uh, it's high consumption because it has to be tuned up. Um, so it wasn't serviced when we moved back when we moved in back in January. So it's been running the whole summer, not serviced. Um, trying to cool down this house when well, we had 117 degree, you know, days in July. And, uh, there's insufficient insulation in the attic and the blower where it's at, so that's what was causing my power bill to be so high. My rent's due on the 5th, and, uh, I did let the, the you know, property management company know that I was going to be late for pending, uh, uh, an audit on the house, because I need to know if I got to pay my power bill or my rent or what. Um, if I don't have power, I can't work, so then I can't pay rent, so I'm stuck in a catch-22 there. So, I couldn't get the power company to come out any earlier than the 14th. So they came out on the 14th, they did the power audit, I sent a maintenance request to the property management company on the same day, on the 14th, and then on the 15th, they went through and pushed the eviction order through. Now you would think that would take, you know, a couple days here or there, 30 days, whatever. I got a five day pay to quit, and then yesterday, there's the air conditioner, it's like four in the morning, and it's the air conditioner is coming on. Um, I got a five day pay to quit, and then I paid $375, uh, which is what I could pay at the time. And they accepted that payment, took it in, and then proceeded to go with the eviction, block me out of any more payments. So I got paid yesterday. I can't even go online and pay them like $200 more um, because they locked me out of that. Um, so it's basically they want the entire amount, which is right about $1,000. I mean, I can cover the other 200 whatever that it is, but... Nonetheless, yesterday, they served a 24-hour, and I was about, say, around 9 o'clock in the morning. So here it is, 4 o'clock the morning the next day, and uh, I have to go down to the courthouse and see if I can't um, put in a petition to stay or a motion to stay based on the fact that they took a partial payment on the rent, and then... Uh, decided to serve me with an eviction notice. 
I mean, it's not like I don't want to pay my bill. I do want to pay the bill. I am paying the bill. Next month is paid because I'm on a fixed income, so I have the same amount of income come the first of every month. It's just if one, you know, one small thing happens, then it, you know, affects other bills. And this one, is, hey, calm down. It's early for that. This one just happens to be pretty big, so. Anyway, that's that's the story in a nutshell. I'm out here with the dogs, trying to let them get, do their, you know, morning duties. Morning duties. But, I mean, I love my house. I do. It's not that I'm uh, trying to uh, not pay. As a matter of fact, every, every month from January up until last month, we had a zero balance. We paid every month on time, no problem. Just, you know, this summer months. Oh, not to mention, uh, we were on a program with the power company that is supposed to help us save money during the, you know, summer months. Uh, we should have had a fixed set rate through June, July, through September. And I contacted the power company and they said, oh, you were removed from the program, but we, I didn't remove them. And my property manager didn't remove me. Um, and they don't know who did. They said there was a glitch in their system that caused me to be removed from this program where I would have had a set bait bill over the three months of the summer that right now is causing me all that problem. So I, I, not only do I have to go back to the power company and decide, you know, what are they going to do to reimburse me for these months that they technically screw me over because of a glitch in the system. What is this, the freaking matrix or something? Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's the other thing. I mean, you participate in these programs, you're supposed to be able to save money, and it didn't save me anything. It's not going to save me at all. Um, if anything, right now it's causing me more headaches. So, that's uh, the 411 right now. That's where I stand. So, I'm going down to the courthouse. They open at 8 o'clock. I'm going to be down there first in line. And uh, look at how she goes to that door. Can you believe it? Um, and uh, see if I can get them to get a hearing set so if they can give me a hearing date that'll give me like seven more days to come up with uh, whatever I can I gotta come up with a thousand dollars somehow so anyway I thought I'd give you guys an update that's uh pretty much where it's at so um, I appreciate everybody that's helping I appreciate if you're just watching just listening um, hopefully everything works out I will let you guys know again thanks